What is up you guys, you're watching Sergio's Secret. Before I get started with today's video, if you can please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe button. Boom will be bills on Monday through Friday on designer and contemporary fashion. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any one of my uploads. And yeah guys, let's go ahead and get started. So today, because this is the first video that I've ever done in natural lighting that's not in my car. It's like not a vlog or anything, like an actual sit down video. So um, I'm gonna like it. You, I, today I actually had time like in the daytime to actually like sit down and film which is very exciting because that's not a luxury that i usually have usually i film in the middle of the night or like after like 8 p.m so the fact that i have natural lighting it just puts such a bright smile on my face today guys is going to be my designer wish list so i always get asked what are things that i want things that i don't want um i really want to see what you're on your mind sergio i definitely want to see these are about 14 items that i have in my wish list are things that would consistently change or things that i could possibly remove things i could add like there's things like I want another Poland handbag. I want. I mean, I want a Loewe puzzle bag, or maybe like a vintage Balenciaga motorcycle bag. Obviously, these things could change, but this is what I was feeling this weekend, and I went through it today, and I took out two items, and I put two other items in. So this is my designer wish list, and we're gonna preference it into spring and summer edition. I have never been excited for spring and summer ever in my life. I've always dreaded the summer. I've always dreaded the heat. Honestly, because I've always felt like going with a very negative mindset and negative energy, comfortable in the clothing that I would wear. I felt like certain things didn't look flattering on me. So this summer, like I'm actually starting to curate our beautiful summer capsule wardrobe and kind of have things that complement. And I've always been into color black and in the summer wear black and I just always look so sad. I'm more into kind of brownie colors. I have this back that i bought which i'll talk about in another video i will say i have been really excited for spring and summer like i like never in my entire life would i ever think i would be a spring and summer person i just want to go to the pool i want to go to the beach but i think it's also because i just didn't feel confident within myself working out i've been eating a lot healthier and i just been really um really happy so i think this this time around this summer i'm really gonna welcome it with warm arms and be wearing things that i've never thought i would step foot out so i thought i would never wear a tank top outside or i would never wear sandals outside or certain things so it's very exciting to see uh, all these different looks and these things that come up, up come up with in the summertime so without further ado let's go ahead and get started with the things on my designer wish list so the first item which is probably the one i'm not gonna lie guys i'm pretty excited for this and i know that i will i'm gonna get this this is the Tory Burch Ella canvas tote. I took the photograph right here. So it is uh, kind of like a white canvas material with like, like it's kind of like this color and it's like literally around the handbag. So the reason why I like this bag is because you guys know I love structured bags in general. I think structure makes any bag look more elevated. It's gonna look, look it's gonna hold up over time. What I like is that, that nice incorporation of canvas, which is a very nice kind of summery material, spring material, but you also have that pretty brown leather on it it's gonna make it half structure and that tan is gonna be perfect for spring and summer so i think that this is a bag that i'm gonna get so much wear out of i can wear a goldie shorts a goldie bodysuit some beautiful sneakers probably my twitter towel sneakers and this handbag right here it will absolutely look phenomenal it will go with everything maybe um some beautiful sunglasses like i have already imagining me using this bag me carrying this bag since it is an elito and i do have the classic black one which is right there I know that I'm going to get so much wear out of. Uh, it's such a good everyday bag. And I also got... Um, by the time you see this video, I have already posted my handbag declutter. And one of the bags that I'm missing is my book tote. So um, my book tote will no longer be in my collection. So I definitely want to have another bag. Yes, I have my little tote bar, my Marc Jacobs, and my St. Laurent tote up there. But I definitely want the Ella tote. I feel like I would get a lot of value in that And during spring and summer. Like, I'm already imagining the outfits and everything. Like I use this Ella tote that I have right here. And I imagine myself with outfits that I'm going to wear. It just puts such a bright smile on my face. So I know I'm going to get this. I'll probably end up getting this one next month or who knows it could be probably tomorrow this one is going to be the one that i feel like um that i kind of like though oh my god Jojo, you're actually thinking about this i actually want another chanel 19 handbag into my collection so my laptop here my chanel maxi and i love this bag so much but i actually want it in the small size but i want it like in a fun color and a fun style like two months ago i got offered it in this really pretty kind of like mac ruby like red color and I didn't go for it. And I kind of wish I would've, no, I know that I should've gotten it. I didn't buy it, I got offered a denim one. I also didn't go for them. And now that I'm trying to kind of look for them, the ones that are out, I kind of don't care for. I know if I find a very nice Chanel 19 in a smaller size, 
but I like that's a little bit more novelty I feel like in my collection I feel like the first couple years I was very clean-cut classic and if a style got discontinued I would get rid of it um, I would just be very kind of particular and now my collection if I just love something I just love it regardless if it's discontinued regardless if it's an older style if I love it I love it and so I really want a fun Chanel I think either a denim a red um, even the tan one I actually got I sourced this through Sellers Associates and they told me this bag is sold out with this tan one right here. But definitely a Chanel 19 I definitely want to add. I just love how much casualness they add. It's so sleek. Um, it's elevated. And I've been really enjoying my time with this one. But I will say I probably won't reach for um, this one as much in the spring and summer. I feel like I have a bunch of other bags that I kind of want to reach for. I know this one in the fall and this is like my essential. But I definitely would love to add another one. Particularly in a small kind of novelty style. So I could use it a lot during the spring and summer. Especially if like, it's a beautiful red. You can wear around the holidays you can wear it valentine's day um it's just bread is such a beautiful seductive color so and denim those are kind of the ones that come on top of my head but for sure i definitely do see myself adding another 19 into my collection another handbag that i would love to add oh my god we're starting off with a bunch of handbags it's going to be the row handbag very open to which one i'll get i don't mind the larger ones but i prefer this one right here which is the moon bag um it has kind of like the zipper kind of like on the side it's very weird it's very different and i would get this one and i know it comes in black but if um maybe like in another neutral color i just been into the clean minimalistic style i love my brandings do not get me wrong but i just i feel like i could find value in this and i do see myself doing a, quite a bit of traveling regard regardless of what's going on like i'm still going to continue to live my life so i do see myself doing a lot of traveling so this is a bag that's really easy to transport and luggage i can put it in my carry-on and since it is from the row i don't mind checking that in if i needed to i don't know don't even know what the row is when i told my friends i love clothes from the row they're like what's the row so i i feel that it's not a very well-known brand and so i just love how discreet but yet timeless and elegant it is so um i definitely do see myself adding a row bag and i'm more open to buy pre-loved they are brand new if i'm being quite honest they are pretty pretty pricey but i will say all most of the items that i have from the row i have purchased on sale none of it has really been full price next one is going to be one that i had in my wish list last year and it was around i want to say the summertime but now that i now that i'm kind of seeing myself i find the value in this hat a mason michelle so who watches school of affluence anna bay i watch a lot of her videos about how to be like proper etiquette um just the way just a bunch of like energy and i just am obsessed with her channel and she always wears these beautiful mason michelle hats stunning i think they're timeless i think they're so beautiful and i've always wanted one but i feel like i can never justify the price point and these are conversations that i have with my friends i'm quick to drop you know that on a handbag all day every day but an accessory that would get a lot of wear out of i question it so I think this is going to be the time that if i do buy it i'll buy it um i'm not sure if i'm going to go for the lighter one or a kind of a black color it's always going to depend but i think if i see one on sale that's colored i'll probably end up getting that i really like or if not i'll go for the classic black one um this one i do see myself making maybe towards the end of summer maybe more like in august september i think that's something that i can see myself treating myself with in my during my birthday for sure i i think a mason michelle hat has been something on my mind since i watched started watching school of affluence like 18 months ago i think two, even two years ago ever since she's been wearing them i've always been obsessed with them i always appreciate when she has them so i think this year i think i will be purchasing a mason michelle hat and i am super 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 excited for it this one is going to be row ready to wear in general i've just been appreciating um just a lot of clothing that i have and i find that i love to have beautiful basics so if you guys don't know i have the rent the runny subscription so i get a bunch of new items kind of every kind of week or maybe every 10 days and so i get to try a lot of fun writing when i'm on instagram i get to try on a lot of outfits that i normally wouldn't buy so like this pink outfit right here is something that i wore recently and see that's not something that i'm willing to spend you know 300 per piece or 500 per piece on because I feel like I would only really wear it one time and so Rent the Runway has also saved, helped me save money because I don't go and buy all these off one pieces or things that I just wear kind of one time so I've been really investing in a lot of the high quality items that I love now I will say the row is 
very very pricey but like i said i tend to get a lot of it on sale love to add a more row clothing a beautiful structured trouser with the bodysuit as the first piece and just wear it like that let the pants a palazzo pants or a beautiful uh, third piece that's very sheer um some beautiful row items is what i really want to add and i find the value because they complement pieces that i get from my rent the runway they complement all the other things i already have in my wardrobe so not particular on what i want from the row but if i do see a piece that i see value in and that i would like um, i'm willing to purchase it so yeah the row is a brand that i've been really obsessed with and ever since i went to the store in melrose in los angeles I've been hooked on the row ever since. This store is so pretty, guys. This is the row. But sorry that I have to film like that, but look. Look at this leather jacket. Like, it, one day I'm gonna come in here and I can pick anything out of it. I would just love to add a lot of more row ready to wear, but obviously, wow, well, actually, I'm gonna take that back. Pieces from the row are very classic. Like, all the pieces that I have from the row get very wear, so much wear out of. I have a jacket, I have, I think, four tops, and they all get worn very, very frequently, really good basics. So, uh, you can never go wrong with row items, in my opinion. Those are items that I'll have again and again and again, and that I keep taking to the dry cleaners so that I keep on washing. They're things that are on my heavy rotation. One is going to be the Slim Box bag. I think I talked about this during Christmas. I would love to add a Slim Box bag into my collection. Um, it's just something that I've talked about before. I've always liked it. I honestly don't think I'd go for the black one. I'm kind of over the color black um, for the most part. I would either want it in the tan color, which is this one right here, or I would really, really love to have it like in a beautiful kind of like dark green color, or like even the white color with the gold. Oh my God, I am so obsessed with it. Um, this one will probably, I think I said it in the last video, um, I think I said I'll buy it brand new. I think I actually will go pre-loved. I don't mind if it has like a little scratch or two on it. Um, the bag is very delicate, so if it has a couple scratches, I, I, it doesn't really bother me. That's not a no, as long as it's not like super, super noticeable or super indented, I'm willing to purchase it pre-loved. I'll probably end up being old Celine as well, but a Celine box bag has been something that I've been keeping on my radar. I've always wanted to re-add a Celine handbag into my collection, and I told myself I really wouldn't get none of the luggages. I do like the boat bags, but... I think the one that I've always wanted is the Celine box bag, so um, that could be potentially one of the ones that I'll have on to be something that I get during the summertime. And like I said, I see myself getting this more, more in the kind of more in the June or July ish, and I know the time, but I've been really loving it. It's one of the top priorities. So I have this sandal from the row. I have yet to wear it. I'm waiting. For me to, to get a lot more hot to wear this. I, this is going to be my first year wearing open-toed shoes and I'm very, very excited. And so I want to add another pair of open-toed shoes. I think I just need two after two. Good to have like actual wearing. There's another shoe I have on the list, but that's more like, I'll, I'll explain that one later. I really want a Chanel dad sandal, like the rose gold one. I tried like very novelty, so the thing is, even though they're my size, like those ones run really big, so I'm at 40 and the all black ones. It can be the black rubber ones, it can be the black leather ones, it can be the black leather with quilting. Any variation of a dad, Chanel dad sandal, I love it. It gets so hot in here in Texas, like 106, 1010. I'm glad that I don't have leather seats in my car, but I would get so much wear, so much versatility, and I, I it's a very Texas essential. So the Chanel dad sandal, I will say it's one of my top priority lists, or if not, it's one of the top three or top two. Like that is one of the ones that I definitely want to get. Working with, I'm trying to get one. Um, like I said, I'm not really picky as long as it's black. It fits me perfectly, I'm gonna purchase it. So the Chanel dad sandal is definitely on the list and definitely something that um, I really, really, really want to add into my collection. I think this is one, one of the hot items that I really want. One is a Bottega Veneta clutch and I would love to get the weaving one. So I know that they have kind of like the leathery one. I feel like that's a very dupable style and I don't mean to say dupe like as a bad thing. I just feel like it's very hard to distinguish unless you're like somebody like a Sergio Secret that can really tell. Like I could tell, but a lot of my friends would take up a dinner, but it's not. My friend has an Amazon version and it looks very, very similar to it. So. I would, if I'm spending a higher price point, especially with the recent Bottega Veneta price increase, um, I would love for it to be the weaving because I feel like in the weaving, you can distinctively tell um, that it's a Bottega Veneta bag. So I have the Bottega Veneta Jody here. I would get the large one and I think I would get it in either kind of like this kind of beige, this kind of sandy color or kind of like in a dark brown. And like I said, I've been into kind of sandies and browns and those type of colors, even like chocolates. 
but since I already have that chocolate cassette, I have a black Jody. I definitely feel like I need kind of like a brown Bottega Veneta, and I feel like after that, kind of my um, set is complete. So I definitely do want to add one. Take a Veneta clutch. I see so much value. I love the way it opens. I tried it on. Actually, I think I took a video of me trying it on at Neiman Marcus. I tried it on the dark green one. I liked it, um, but like I said, I. I I prefer to have the sandy color or the nude color or the brownish color more than anything. I, I think that's what I really want it for and it's such a cute clutch and it's something that I'll get so much wear out of and so much versatility and I'm also open to purchasing this pre-loved if I do get a couple hundred dollars off. So the Boutique Banana Clutch is something that I really, really like. I, I, I mean, it's a very Sergio's secret 2021, so I think I'm so here for it. I really, really appreciate it. I will say probably the ones that are a priority are going to be the Chanel Dat Sandals, the Toy Bird Toe, and I think the next one that I'm mentioning, which is going to be the Cardi A Tink Watch. I think, yeah, I'm going to say in this video, these are the three ones that I want the most. The Troy Burch handbag, the Cardi Tink watch, the Chanel Dad sandals. Those are the three ones that I'm prioritizing the most, um, if I'm being really honest, if I have to pick three. The Cardi Tink watch is something that I've always, always wanted to, have always loved. I think it's such a beautiful, such a timeless, classic, exquisite, like I cannot, every time I see somebody have a Cardi Tink watch, I just feel some type of way. Um, uh, last year, I ended up purchasing a Square Michelle Deco, which I actually get so much wear out of. I love it so much. Um, so that's why I was like, and then I also ended up going to Bloomingdale's and I bought a, a regular Square one. So I have two Square Michelle watches. Like, Sergio, I don't think in 2020, I don't think it's your Cardi year. You already have two Square Michelle watches. You don't need any more watches. I'm also not a big Apple fan watch. I've never owned one. I tried to use my brothers for a week. I just... I love something about a classic watch, and so I feel like the Cardi Tink watch, um, I I think I'm going to get the large. I think it's small, large, and extra large. The large one will fit perfectly on my wrist. It will get so much wear, so much versatility. This is something that I can wear five years from now, 10 years from now, 35, even like even when I'm in my 80s or 90s. Like This is something I could see my grandfather wear. This is something that is such a timeless, like something I would appreciate. Oh my god, I bought this in my early 20s and this is something I'm now wearing in my 40s. I think I talked about this before. I'm not the biggest fan of round watches like Rolex watches, um, like all these very popular round watches. Like Rolex watches do absolutely nothing for me. When I see one, I mean, I appreciate it. I think it's a sunny watch, but it just, I just don't care for round watches. I really, really like square watches. Party Tink watches, something that I would get so much wear out of, something that I would use, something that I would love. I think that the Cardi uh, Tink watch will look really beautiful. So that's something that's gonna be on one of the top top three items. I think before I get a Bottega Veneta clutch, before I get a Chanel 19, before I get you know anything over a certain price point, uh, the Cardi watch has to be purchased. I think that's such an essential. And I told myself if I do get that watch, I will have to sell one of my Michelle watches. So I think the one that's not the Deco, just a simple one, I think I would get rid of that one. And then I'll just uh, have my Cardi Tink watch my Michelle Deco, and that's like my perfect watch set, and I feel like I don't really need any more watches. I think with both of those, I'm good to go, and I'm the type of person like likes to reach for the same jewelry again and again and again. It's just a generalization. It's just focus more towards fine jewelry. I will say I would love to have like a diamond stud, maybe like a carrot each on each side. Maybe that's a little bit too much. Maybe half a carrot on each side. Investing in fine jewelry. I think I also told myself if I come across a good deal or if it's a ring that I really like, I get kind of like those engagement, like an engagement ring, but just for myself, like maybe like three carats, maybe like the stone maybe be 1.5 and then uh, around it uh, fully embezzled in diamonds. Like I really want like to invest in nice jewelry. And I think that after the Cardi watch, I think maybe getting a beautiful um, classic stud earring. I feel like this is not something that I would go like designer. Um, I would just kind of go to a jeweler and just kind of go by the clarity, go by the cuts. I think I talked about during this during last summer, how I didn't really know a lot about jewelry, but I actually know a lot about jewelry. I prefer to not buy maybe a designer a stud earring and just go to an actual jeweler and get something that will get a lot of bang for my butt. Look very classic and elegant and the clarity and the cut and everything is beautiful. So uh, I do want to emphasize more on fine jewelry and that doesn't mean, like I wouldn't, I, like right now for my lifestyle, other than Cardi watch, I don't see myself buying like a Cartier jewelry or Chanel fine jewelry or Bulgari fine jewelry just for my lifestyle right now. I think I'd just rather go to the jewelers um, and get, or even, uh, I, have, I have this friend that I know that goes to the pawn shop and she finds all the best stuff. 
or I even go to the pawn shop and get like something really cute um, that's really really worth it so you know I'm always down for a good deal so maybe we can do a pawn shop vlog who knows really something that I do want to uh, kind of be uh, kind of have that in the back of my mind we're going to the last four items oh my god it's starting to become a long video so let me go ahead and finish up this one is going to be a designer passport case I've had the Victoria's Secret one many many years I if you a lot of you guys know I have a group Victoria's Secret I don't really wear anything I don't own anything Victoria's Secret is what I'm trying to say and so I, my passport is naked list um, there's a couple of passport cases that I want I particularly just want a classic one no I'm not the biggest fan of monogram but I do really like the Goyard passport cases or maybe like a Chanel passport case or Saint Laurent passport case passport case in general is something that I would love to add I'm not sure when this will happen, but it is something that I do want. My passport sleeveless, and this will be something, like I said, depending on which one I get, it could be something that I'll have for like the next 20 to 30 years. I don't think you need to have 10 passport holders or two passport holders. I think once you get a really nice one, you don't need any more. And I have a feeling, I know sometimes Goyard screen print doesn't, over time, doesn't hold up the best, but if it's a passport case, it's not like getting a lot of wear, you just basically open it up, scan it, and then when you're not traveling, you keep it home in a safe, you know what I mean? So it's not something that will get a lot of wear, wear, wear. So I, I can justify buying it because it's something that I'll use, but it won't have excessive wear on it. So a Goyard passport case or just a designer passport case in general would be something that I would love to add. Next one is going to be a handbag, and this is from Coach, and this is the Beat Bag, which is kind of like their saddle bag. I love this one, but I actually like the shoulder bag version, I believe, which is kind of like my Coach Cassie 19. It has a beautiful chain. I tried this on before. I love the chain. I can put that on. Oh my god. I can put that on my Coach Cassie bag. I love the chain. I love the two straps that come with it. I just love how versatile it is crossbody shoulder bag top handle with the chain i would probably get this in the saddle color just because i already have the black cassie and i have a white cassie so i feel like a tan one or a camel color would be like the perfect one to get very excited for this one this one will probably be purchased maybe not in march maybe like in april but i definitely do want to get the coach beat bag something definitely that i could get a lot of wear out of so yeah coach beat bag is definitely 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 on my list i'm gonna go on with the last two so the next one's going to be um the bottega veneta uh slide so i know i said like the two slides which is the row that i already have in the chanel dad sandal but i would also love to get the bottega veneta slide and the reason is is i know it's very expensive for what it is it's basically plastic um but i have had the valentino rockstar one about a month i'm about to have a three year anniversary with it yes i've had it for three years and i've used that one so much but i would resell that one and replace it for the bottega veneta one and i feel like i would even have the bottega veneta one even longer um just because i only really i did use that one a lot like kind of casually the valentine like around the house and then i kind of switched to my hobby on but actually the bottega veneta i see myself using it when i when i have to when i'm around the house and stuff like that when or like when I'm at the beach or I'm at the pool and since they are rubber they're super ver uh, versatile and they don't really show wear on them so I don't really want to take my Chanel down sandals I don't want to take my rose sandals to the beach which is something that I'm planning to do a lot during the summer I don't want to take them to the sand I really would use the Bottega Veneta ones I feel like the Valentino Rock Stud like that particular style doesn't define me anymore I feel like it's a little too 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 edgy and it, I just feel like it's kind of I already been there done that so I would just love to add the Bottega Veneta one I just get so much wear out of and like a nice kind of designer kind of a jelly slide um, I don't think a Gucci, I don't think any other brand, I think Bottega Veneta was really the one that I want. Maybe a little wavy one if I see one that I like. That one, just a nice designer jelly sandal. And then the last one is going to be just another generalization called like the row. It's just going to make more of an effort to buy from other brands or smaller. So you want to purchase from more smaller brands in general. It could be designer, it could be contemporary. Um, I just pref I just want to show my support. And I feel like I'm a very diverse person in general. Like if I like something, I just wear it. You know what I mean? I'm not very cut off by the tag. You know, sometimes I am. There's certain brands that I like I'm jeweling for like the row i feel like the row would take are probably the ones that i fall victim towards the most other than that like i love all brands like i i find beauty and i find appreciation in a lot of things so i would just love to add more smaller businesses um it could be jewelry it could be um candles it could be clothing and any some sort of price point i just think i want to get i want to just show my support i think I'm very blessed to have a, a decent size
this platform on this channel so I would just love to you know shine like if, if I see somebody that have a beautiful candle company I would love to buy it and be like look at this beautiful candle it's absolutely stunning and shout them out and you know actually enjoy the item so I would just love to um, just help out people with smaller businesses so um, I think that's something that I want to make an, uh, an effort to so yeah guys that's going to be my designer wish list and that was about like 14 items I believe or in or maybe 12 items in true generalization. If you guys like this, I want to know what's on your wish list. Is it mostly designer? Is it mostly contemporary? Is it shoes? Is it bags? Is it jewelry? Is it clothing? Is it what is it? Like, I really want to know what you guys are on the top of your wish list from. I know when I posted my video from um, my favorite items of the month, I had so many good guys telling me in the comment section and my DMs telling me that you guys really, really wanted Coach Cassie's. Like, you'll ask for that for Valentine's Day. That's on your next wish list. I've also told you, a lot of you guys have told me like the Marc Jacobs one, the Tofar bag, that's also on your wish list, or a St. Laurent Lulu, that's another one that I've been getting um, asked a lot about. So I would love to see what you guys are wishing for, what you guys are asking for, and if and yeah, guys, if and if you have any questions or if you want my recommendations on anything, comment it down below, and I'll try for the first couple of days of this video being posted to reply to any to all the comments. So yeah, and I'll also leave the links for everything down below, including this top. It's a 100% cashmere top from Nordstrom. Um, it's from the Hallinger brand. I've been wearing this nonstop since I bought it like a month and a half ago, and it's just like the perfect amount of cashmere here for Texas because it's not it's not super super thick. It's like literally the perfect amount of fabric. So yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you so much guys for watching this video. Y los miro hasta la próxima. Bye guys and take care.